right, we're now on page five in the packet, and we want to talk about the force acting on a moving charge um, that's going to be moving through a magnetic field. Now, I've got a little drawing over here, and as I wrote here on the top, when a charged particle moves through a magnetic field, it undergoes a force which is perpendicular to the plane of which the magnetic field acts, I should have acts there, and the velocity exists. It's exactly the same rule as force on a wire. If I think about a charge here, a positive charge moving towards the right in a magnetic field into the page, it's exactly the same thing as if I had a wire here and had a current going in that direction. Because remember, we consider current to be positive charge flow. It isn't really positive charge flow, but it is virtually the exact same rule. Just like before, to find the direction of the force on it, my fingers represent the magnetic field, just like the other force rule. My thumb represents the velocity of the charged particle, just like thumb represented current before. And the force is going to be perpendicular to the palm of your hand. And there's a little drawing over here, actually one of my better ones, where you've got a little hand there, and you know the force is going to be coming out like straight out of the page like that for this. For this particular problem, well, try it yourselves. I'll wait for a second. Yep, even the force is drawn there. Fingers into the page, velocity is towards the right, and your palm is towards the top of the page. To find the magnitude, or how big that force is, it's equal to the absolute value of the charge multiplied by the component of the velocity perpendicular to the magnetic field times the strength of the magnetic field. Or, if you prefer, force is equal to QVB sine theta. Okay? Where Q is your charge, V is the velocity in meters per second, B is your magnetic field strength in Tesla, and theta is the angle between your velocity and the magnetic field. Now, once again, if the charge is moving parallel to the magnetic field, sine is zero, zero, there will be no force acting on that charge. Another concept that please keep in mind, that because the force is always perpendicular to the velocity. When you have a particle moving through a magnetic field, because the force is always perpendicular to the velocity, and work is Fd cosine theta, well, if theta is always going to be 90 degrees because the force is always perpendicular to the velocity, that means that your work is always going to be zero done on a particle moving through a magnetic field. It's not going to change how fast the particle is moving. It's going to change its direction of motion, but not change how fast the particle is moving.